back to another episode of Low Tech Garage. I'm Josh, this is James, and as you can tell, we're in a truck. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, you probably already know what we're going to pick up, but if you haven't been following the channel, now's a great time to hit that subscribe button. So, we are en route to pick up the 66 Dodge Charger. This is a huge day for us. We've been talking about this for so long, and we are finally on our way to go get it right now. But we are on our way from Tampa Bay area in Florida up to South Carolina, and we're probably not gonna make it the whole way there because we had to leave it around midday. Um, but essentially, we are working our way all the way up and looking at stopping in Augusta, Georgia, and then doing the last little hop in the morning to go and see the car. James has been trekking along, making a great pace so far our uh, trusty pilot, and I'm playing co-pilot. Actually, no, I'm just filming myself, in, you know, being a YouTuber, but um, basically, we're making good time, and I think we're gonna uh, actually be able to get some decent sleep tonight, too. So this deal has been nearly two months in the making. Um, I actually spoke to the, the gentleman selling the car, uh, made the deal, like I said, almost two months ago, and I've been speaking with him a couple times a week ever since. He's been giving me little updates on everything, uh, and vice versa, I've just been confirming, making sure, you know, yep, I am coming, everything's still good. Um, but basically, it is a 66 Dodge Charger. Uh, it's got a small block, so a 318 and an automatic in it right now. And if you guys have been following the channel, you probably know that my plan is to, uh, to put a 440 and a four speed in this thing. Well, it just so happens that the same gentleman has a 440 and a four speed, and I've also made a deal on that motor and that transmission. So we're coming home with most of the stuff we need to get this thing to be a badass muscle car. Now this leg of the journey is basically just gonna be us driving. So uh, in essence, we're gonna kind of probably skip ahead to us waking up tomorrow morning and hitting the last leg of the journey up to South Carolina where it'll be a little more interesting. And predictably, of course, there's always gotta be some traffic on a journey like this. Right, it's becoming a tradition on these trips, but we just got done at the Waffle House. So now we're gonna hit the road and uh, go see the car for the first time. And just like that, we are back on the road. So we have about two hours ahead of us. And uh, at that point, we'll be uh, meeting the, uh, the seller for the first time. And uh, honestly, looking forward to it. Well, guess what? We've got precious cargo. So we're gonna find a good stopping point, uh, probably grab a cup of coffee and we'll actually run you through everything um, about the car, maybe do a little bit of a walk around with it. But for now, I can at least tell you that uh, it was fantastic meeting Sonny. He was just as nice in person as he was on the phone. Extremely helpful, he's taking really good care of us. So Sonny, you're amazing. And another pleasant surprise, he had actually done a couple extra steps for us, so we were able to actually drive the car right up onto the trailer, which was so nice. We were really expecting to have to uh, use like, you know, come along or ratchet straps or something like that, but he actually spent the extra time and got it to where we could drive it right up on there. All right, so we just had some breakfast, and now I feel like I'm ready to talk about the car, which is right here. Also, the ever so loyal Frank is gonna be getting his own video here soon. But here is the Cherry Bomb Charger in all of its glory. So we got a rundown from Sunny of basically just the bits and pieces that it needs. And um, uh, honestly, the bits and pieces that it no longer needs because he took care of them. High five, Sunny. Um, but just looking at this thing, I am already in love. So at the moment, it's running an LA 318 and a 727 automatic. Um, Right now, the major uh, thing that's holding it back from being running and driving is a transmission fluid leak, so that'll be the first thing we address. Other than that, it should be able to bomb around. Um, the brakes needed bleeding, but actually Sonny just took care of that before we showed up. A couple little wiring things, um, but yeah, I mean, essentially we just gotta get it back and do a couple small things like that, and we should be able to tool it around town. And if this is your first time seeing one of these, you'll notice there's no headlights showing right now. So these have um, a pretty cool style of hidden headlights where this assembly right here, and you can even see it partially rotated, actually flips 180 and the headlights are on the back side of that and they flip out forward. 
Um, they later moved to the one where there's a cover that actually lifts up and out of the way. Uh, but yeah, for now, uh, this was the first rendition of that style of light. Right now, she's running some, uh, I believe they're 15-inch torque thrusts. Um, we will probably be changing those out for Magnum 500s. We'll see how I feel. Um, but I do like the look for the time being. It's got a very, very good muscle car stance to it. So I'm just going to enjoy these the way they are. And uh, from what I understand, the wheels and tires are basically brand new. They've never really seen the road. And of course, one of the other iconic features, other than the proper fastback that comes all the way to the back, is the full-length taillight here. So um, I do have another lens for this lined up, but it is an awesome feature where the taillight goes from one side to the other. And uh, I think with a fresh lens on there, it's gonna look really good. And you may notice that some of the top trims are missing. They are all inside the car. Uh, we have the vast majority of the pieces to get this thing fully dressed. I think there's just a couple of very small ones missing and a couple of small ones that may need just a refresh. But for now, we've got eight plus hours of driving ahead of us. So uh, we're gonna jump back in the truck and hit the road in good old Frank. So as I was pulling up the navigation, James asked me, hey, do you need a charger? I said, no, nah, man, I already got one. But only eight hours left in a car with me. So uh, just a, you know, pretty basic check-in, but she's still back there. We haven't lost her. James has been manning the ship the entire time like a boss. So uh, yeah, been a pretty good journey so far. It is uh, 9.15 p.m. on Saturday and we're home. 33 hours later, but she's finally in my driveway. First Mopar. Now we didn't film the unloading process because, uh, well, let me show you. We literally pulled up in the middle of the street right there and uh, backed it off the trailer and then up into my driveway. So predictably, I am relatively tired, so I'm gonna check in with you guys tomorrow morning. So here we are early morning on Sunday, and there's another part of this project that I maybe forgot to mention, but we got a 440 and a four speed tucked behind there. So we're working on unloading that right now. And yes, we had it wrapped under that tarp. We're not animals. And we have success. She has landed. Thanks to Frank the Champ. And we are back home at the little shop. So uh, as you saw, we have a car, we have a big block, and we have a four speed. And if you follow our TikTok, you would have already seen this, but we have a dual quad intake manifold as well. And that gets us up to speed with where we are right now. So if you like this video, which you probably did if you're still watching at this point, hit that like button. Take two seconds and do it for me right now. It really means the world to us. And the big thing is it tells YouTube that this is a good video and it'll push it out for more people to see it. And that really does help us grow the channel. If you really like this vehicle and you wanna see the rest of this build series, again, just hit that subscribe button. It'll let you know when new videos are coming out, especially if you hit that notification icon and you won't miss a thing. Got a lot of cool stuff coming up, especially that big block swap and that four speed swap that is gonna be super exciting. So we appreciate you following along on this. We got more content to come very soon, but for now, we'll catch you on the next one.